Hello, yellow, jello. It is me. It is red. We're hanging. We're here. And what today? We got fish. We got fish. We got starfish. We got swords. What's that about? And uh, we're gonna work on some ocean floor stuff. So um, <clears throat> similar to last time, I have a bunch of assets that I need for um, underwater. Um, I don't need a full ocean floor, but um, there's no reason not to make one. It should be pretty quick. It should help us visualize. Um, I think I'm doing a little bit better when I have a full scene to work on and a reference. Um, and I definitely don't have the time or the energy to do the full scenes for the game. So I'm just kind of making little micro cosmos scenes for us to work on. Um, so I think that's been a good strategy. It's a, it's a, it's four fish, it's four sword fish dur. Hello? I, I don't know what Joe's talking about in chat. Joe's just being a weird guy. As per the norm. It's what I love most about Joe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on the usual music. It's for swordfish. Duh. Oh, yes, I understand. A swordfish. Honestly, I feel like that joke's been done a lot by um, fantasy. But I can't think of a single example, personally. So maybe it's not as common as I think it is. So, got ourselves an ocean floor, right? We're just gonna start hard. We're gonna start super hard on an ocean floor. Um, I'm gonna make the ocean floor as quick and as painless as I can, and then we're gonna start getting into everything else. So, let's go ahead and make an ocean floor using some nodes. And um, bumping is probably not gonna look very good, but I'm gonna bump it anyway. And shaders are compiling, which there's literally no shaders, so. Oh, there's one. I take it back, there's one shader. So let's give this a shot, right? Let's go ahead and give this a new texture. I'm gonna give it a bump. And I'm gonna give it that dune swept sandy look. And we're gonna see if that works. And if that works, then we're set, we're ready to go. So I want to do a mix RGB. Uh, not gonna lie, I haven't opened Blender in a couple of days. Um, since Friday, so I already feel like kind of weird. <laughs> I already feel like a little out of it. Um, so I hope I didn't lose the grit that we had last week, because last week we were doing really good. Um, I doubt we did, but I'm a little shaky. I'm like not clicking on things as quick as I usually do. So it is going to be what it's going to be. All right, so we got ourselves some waves, some noise. We're going to mix those guys together to make this shape which isn't rendering. Let's try it here. Yep, that's what it looks like. That's perfect. Joe, how's life treating you? I'm sure you're busy and I'm sure you won't be able to answer that, but how's uh, how's the house? How's uh, work? How's everything? I feel like I haven't got a chance to really uh, sit and talk with you, which is part of my own doing. I'm not blaming you, um, but I feel like I haven't really sat and talked with you, Joe. Joe's such a busy man. Joe is like the world's, I'm so tired. I believe it. I feel like you go nonstop, man. Everything good? Are you happy? Are you enjoying life? Could you be better? If you could be better, what would be better? Okay, there we go. So we're making ourselves just a little bit. Mostly because I woke up at 4.30 this morning. Oh man. I feel bad about my sleeping schedule. My sleeping schedule has been rough. Um, like real bad. Barrel, what's up? Barrel, how are you doing as well? Yeah, my sleeping schedule, it's like, oh, look at that. Looks good. Okay, let's lower that down a little bit because I want to get those Krigly, yeah, Krigly Craglies going. And we're going to do the add function instead of the mix. And we're going to add just sand on top of this guy. Um, I, I'm like perfectly neutral right now, honestly. I'm not I'm not exceptional and I'm not bad. I'm just I'm just chilling. I'm just big chilling right now. Um The big thing for me is I have been waking up at like 
I've been waking up at like 8 a.m. one day and noon the next day and 8 a.m. the next day and noon the next day. It's like if I have work for a day, I wake up early. And if I don't have work, I wake up at 12. And it is, it's killing me. It's like really killing me. It is not healthy whatsoever. I need to find a way to solve that. But uh, I guess I'll get there when I get there. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm feeling like this is pretty solid looking. This is a decent like ocean floor. I kind of need it to be taller. Like part of me wishes I had displaced it, but I don't think that's gonna be possible with what we're doing. And the way that this roughness is here, there we go, there we go. That's more of what I wanted. This week, all of the exams will finish. Uh, I'll have time and energy for work I actually wanna do, my writing and blending. That's great. I look forward to seeing uh, what you're working on. You'll post it on uh, the Discord when you start working on it. You're usually pretty good about that. You're somebody that I can always rely on to uh, have, you know, just like nice progress reports. I think that's a good, like, a good thing to do as a 3D artist as well. Cause you get kind of stuck in it, right? And you don't want to, it's hard to show what you're working on when you get like deep into the process. So that's good on you to just share it, you know? Especially given how, you know, completely random and wild this uh, community is starting to get. Speaking of which, I'm surprised CQDK is not here. They've been all over the Discord lately. Okay, so I'm gonna do it maybe like that. That should be fine enough. I kind of wish I could speckle out. You know what? No, 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 no. We got a much better way of doing this. Much better way of doing this. I wanna use two of these guys. Let's do this. We're gonna do a color ramp and a color ramp, just like that. And I'm gonna do my best to overlay the colors as best as I can. And then the ocean floor is done and we can move on. So we'll say wave texture goes up top. Hello, please, sir. Sure, you'll be along like that, I don't care. Kind of wish I could set it up so that these are locked and you can't change their size because they're the, literally the perfect size just by default. There's no reason to change the size for me. But um, you know, you get what you get, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna poke this up just a little bit and poke that down just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a flatter look. Um, somebody asked me a little bit, oh, Simo, I think might've been the one who asked me, maybe somebody else. Uh, Simo, hello. Um, I was asked what my art style is. And more and more, as I get a little bit more confident, I'm starting to develop my art style. And I think my art style is these like flat surfaces, right? When I first started, I was like, everything is bumpy and textured and photorealistic, whatever, and it looked terrible. And now I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I like flat texture flat. I think that's a good look. I think that like does edge detection really well. Ideally, I wanna make edges like really, really strong. Edges are the most important thing for me when I when I play games and stuff. I was looking at um, Fantasy Star Online 2 and I was looking at the like lobby area that you hang out in and it's pretty low poly. It's like a very low poly area. Um, it's not low poly, but it's low poly by like modern game standards. Um, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is it. This is like the art style I wanna try and encapsulate and the thing that i recognized about it is they um they have like really strong edge detection all right we got ourselves a drink of water everybody take a drink of water pretty sure it wasn't you who asked about it got it somebody did there we go so this is our sand let's go ahead and put it together and we will uh, begin coloring so this should be kind of straightforward and then we should be ready to get into it Oh yeah, that looks great. That looks 100%. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, cool, so let's uh, let's color it. Um, when I think of sand at the bottom of the ocean, sand usually doesn't get colored until it gets close to the surface. I'm sure there's an example where that's wrong. I'm sure that's not true, but in my experience, that's what sand's supposed to look like, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do what I think looks right. 
because what else can I do? So we're going to go ahead and just find that perfect little yellow. Yep, I mean, that's sand. That's 100% what sand looks like. Reference? Nah, we're winging it. I'll, I'll double check later, but right now we're winging it. Yeah, that's it. The lighting is a little dull, um, so it's kind of hard to tell because there's not a bright like sun on here, but that's basically it. Okay, so let's go ahead and just grab that color. Just right there. Oh yeah, there he is. What? No, come here, come back. Why is it being weird? E on you. Just grab that little box, please. What the heck is happening? Oh, it's because I'm eing the wrong one. I understand. Um, okay, that, and then this is here. Oh, I mean, it's that's perfect. That's literally as good as you can expect, right? That's as perfect as sand can look. So, bada boom, you're down there. Cool, so we got our sand done. And if I just uh, render out the shader, and it's gonna take its sweet, sweet time. Come on. There we go. Look at that. I mean, that's, oh. C'est magnifique. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's start getting into stuff, right? Um, first thing I want to do is just add a couple of rocks because I'm gonna put some stuff on rocks, um, and then we're gonna get into the the actual meat of this whole thing. So I'm just gonna do the most easy thing that I can do and just generate a rock. Is my point of origin up here? Why is my point of origin up here? Okay, so we got a rock. I'm just gonna go ahead and come back to this mode and we're, we got our rock, make the rock a little bit bigger. And you're just gonna go right on the ocean floor, nice and easy. Now, I know when you're using bump like normal maps, this is not the correct procedure because um, if you put a flat object, it shows that it's not actually textured. But again, this is just for a little bit of point of reference. This is not final sketch material. Um, this is just to get us in the mood for what we're doing. Okay, so that one is not good. You're good, Joe. No worries. Joe, you owe us absolutely nothing ever. You are you are perfectly okay. Ice. What the heck? Sure, we'll grab a little ice rock. I don't know why that's an ice rock, but sure. If that's what rocks look like in the ice or what like ice is supposed to look like in default sure so i'm gonna grab you we're gonna make you a little bit bigger and we're just gonna pop you down on the ocean floor sir please this is gonna be a little bit of doing but once we get going i should be fine you know i'm gonna maybe put like two more and then that should be it i still uh you still owe me 12.95 so i ain't leaving till i get paid I mean, it's a good tactic to keep you around. I think ultimately I benefit from that, so thanks. Um, Joe, how is life treating you? That's what I was asking you before, um, before uh, you left. You doing all right? How's your house? How's everything? Oh, you said you were tired. Yeah, but like, how's how's everything else? How's how's not being tired? My apartment feels like an American sauna. Me too. I um. Every time I start stream, I put my AC down. I put my AC like way down, um, and I put on socks because it gets cold. But uh, it takes a while. My AC is not like the most like. It's not the best AC in the world. Um, so it just takes like half an hour. Um, so it's currently very hot because I'm wearing socks um, and my AC is eking away. Uh, you guy have gun. I'm gonna put some bullets into some giant robots. I'm sorry, Barrel, what was that? What does that mean? Oh, you're gonna have fun. I understand, I understand. Hey, you enjoy Titanfall. 
Nobody loves Titanfall as much as you. Uh, I took a nap, so pretty good now, I guess. Look at you. Can you take a nap during work? Is that insane? Okay, so I got one more rock to make. This rock thing is like not my favorite little app in the world, but it'll do. Note the specification, it would feel like a real sauna. I would be dead. Why is that? The shade of Simo? crazy you get paid two breaks a day how long are your work days don't you work like eight hours you guys are banned i i can't keep up okay i don't know why the preview is there but we'll get rid of that and i just need to put on like a very simple rock texture like a watery rock texture. <coughs> I'm dying. Ugh. I'm dying, folks. Okay, we're back. Okay, so I want to go into rendered view. Actually looks really good. I don't mind it being cut off like that. Eight hours, two 15 minute breaks and a lunch, but I never take the lunch so I can skip out of an eight hour mark instead of a nine hour mark. I get that. Um, I had a job where you were given a 45 minute break once a day. Uh, it was a 10 hour shift, but you were given a 45 minute break once a day. Um, and basically the way it worked is you could clock out and you could clock in after like 15 minutes. So if you wanted to take a 15 minute break instead of a 45 minute break, you could. And the job was, as soon as you finished your work, you could go home. So every day, I would just like, find every little opportunity to eat food while I was at work. Like, just, just shovel food in my mouth while I was still on the clock. And um, I would just work straight through my break. I would even work through my 15 minutes, even though I wasn't getting paid for the 15 minutes. And then I would just leave at like, some absurd time. I would leave like an hour before work was supposed to end or whatever. I'd, I would, you know, get a free hour every day. Um, and I did that forever. I mean, I did that for such a long time. It was great though, because then I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to get stuck and everybody like leaves at the same time, because I guess other people didn't realize that you could do that. And the bosses didn't seem to care. Like the bosses knew I was doing it. Um, but yeah, nobody else did that. So like everybody would leave at the same time and they'd all be like pulling out of the parking lot at the same time and it would just take forever and people are talking and whatever. And I was like, nah, I leave early. I leave mega early, but I'm always, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely somebody that if you put work in front of me, I finish it like as fast as humanly possible. I'm just like, I don't like wasting time. I'm really against the idea of wasting time. It drives me nuts to like, quote unquote, pretend to work. I hate that stuff. I, I just, I can't be bothered to like act like I'm busy. I'm either busy or I'm not busy. Um, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves, I think. It's a big thing in Japan. I think uh, if I worked in Japan, I'd have a lot of trouble with that. Cause I'd be like, I'm done. And they'd be like, well, just hang out for two hours. And I'd be like, no, I'm done. <laughs> what? And then I'd get fired. Uh, okay, so that's probably all I need to do with a rock. I think I can leave a rock just like that. I could obviously do more with it, but we're going to leave it like that. And I'm going to call it Capital Rock. Just a Capital Rock. We got ourselves some nice little rocks here. All right. Have you tried the rock generator in Blender? That's what I used to make these. That's how I made these. Um, okay, so that's that. I just realized I didn't do the sand like at all. Uh, sand is rough as um, people like to point out. 
So we're gonna say that the sand is pretty rough. And I think that's it. I mean, sand actually kind of has a little bit of a transmission to it. I'm gonna add a little bit just to make it kind of cool. Okay, donezo. So we're gonna compile our shaders real quick and then we'll get right into uh, the actual grit of this. Look at those rocks. Yeah, baby. Is that what rocks in the bottom of the ocean look like? Probably not. But um, I made them quick and that's all that matters to me. They look good though. They look like really nice. Colored me pretty good at making rocks lately. Um, okay, so we can get rid of the sphere and let's get into the actual bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a collection for ocean floor. And the ocean floor will have you, which is the ocean floor. There's nothing like making a collection that you just name, like the name of a collection. It's my favorite pastime. Uh, did you update Blender? You know what? I was fearing that you were gonna ask me that um, because I didn't touch Blender at all over the weekend. And then I started stream or like I got, I got pre-prep for stream, right? I was pre-prepping today getting all my assets, getting everything. And I was like, oh wait, I didn't update Blender. And I thought about it. I thought about doing it in like 15 minutes, but um, I have to import my UI over. And every time I do, it messes up my rendering settings. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be like a disaster and I'm gonna hate it. So I decided against it. Um, so I knew you were gonna ask me, I was waiting for it, uh, but no, I did not. I did not update Blender. I will do it after stream. Because I, I want to update it, for sure. Like, my goal is not to um, be weird about it. I just forgot. Okay, so we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to put everything back to zero. I don't know why we're not at zero. I'm just going to put it pretty close to zero right there. And we'll get right into it. So we're making a starfish. Let's get into this guy. So I was thinking about the starfish quite a bit last night. Um, I was sitting in bed and I was thinking, what am I gonna do about this starfish? And I kind of thought that I could try and use a bump map to make all of this, but I don't know if I trust the procedural aspect of things, especially given that it has to be symmetrical to some degree. So I think we're gonna do it by hand and I'm gonna reduce it down to a bump map. Color me not super happy about that, but I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. So we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. I'm not gonna think about it for the time being. Um, so if I extrude along normals, that's not gonna work. We wanna extrude one along normals to the correct length. Is that correct? Let's do four, why not four? Four is fine. We're just gonna repeat each time. No. Here we go. No. Okay, well, at least I know the measurement. We're there. Okay, so we got a starfish. If I subsurface this, what is it going to look like? This is the million dollar question. Simo, what have you been working on? Uh, you've been quiet lately. You got, uh, you got any projects that you're on? I mean, that's it, that's a starfish, done. We did it, we're done, problem solved. Um, I feel like uh, you had a lot of stuff that you were working on and I was, um, I was checking in on you and then all of a sudden I haven't heard anything in a bit. Are you okay, is everything going well? Has life gotten in the way a little bit? Oh, I mean, that's it. That's perfect. In fact, I want to take this and I want to grab you and just remove that. And now we can make it nice and perfect. That's a perfect starfish. I mean, that is a perfect starfish. Uh, we should probably rig up a armature in here and like displace it a little bit. Um, I've been procrastinating on the export to Unreal by creating um, 
procedural nodes. <laughs> what kind of procedural nodes are you making? I get that, by the way. I totally get that. Um, I keep like over optimizing my old sketches instead of um, building out in Unreal. Um, I kind of think I'm going to try and build most of my project in Unreal 5. Um, I know you're not supposed to. I know it's a bad idea. Uh, but I don't super care if the project doesn't get finished yet. And so I think it'd be nice to just like get a head start on Unreal 5. So I think I'm going to I'm going to go gung ho on that. I mean, that's a pretty solid looking starfish. It's like, do I want to displace it manually? Do I want to do it myself? Made a stylized painterly Vernoy blur thing. Like a the Ghibli sort of textures you're talking about? The people people who make those uh, Ghibli textures? Yeah. Man, I keep watching stylized station videos on uh, YouTube. Um, and I'm like, I really don't know how to feel about the guy. He's like, he's very cool. He's very smart. He's got a lot of good things to say. But he's such like a business guy. I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know if you're like working in people's best interest. He just strikes me as such a, he reminds me so much of like the marketing material that I've like read um, or I've been exposed to in my working environment. Every time he talks, it's always kind of like a snake oil scheme. And he's saying really cool stuff, and I like the stuff he's saying. I'm I'm down with it. But it just like rubs me a weird way. He's kinda slimy feeling, like I don't have anything against him, but he's actually such clickbaity videos, etc. Yeah. I mean I think he does something really well. Uh, to his credit, I think he does something really, really important for everybody. And um, that's that he... Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta think real quick about this. Um, I think he exposes people who have never been exposed to things um, really clearly. He's got kind of a way of getting beginners to think about new concepts, which is cool. Um, if it weren't for him, I wouldn't know what a splat map is. Like, he, he had a video where he, a guy talks about splat maps, and I was like, oh, I've been looking for this. The problem with that video is they don't call them splat maps. They don't refer to them by name, and so you're just left to be like, what am I looking at? Which is not a good practice. Like, if there's a bunch of documentation on something, tell people what the documentation is called. So I like the guy a lot. He exposes people to like new ideas that they should probably already be exposed to. But it's just the way that he goes about it is weird. He confuses terms like PBR and procedural. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of have a feeling he's probably like somebody who's like at my level. I mean, he's probably better. I'm, I assume everybody is better than me. Um, but, like, I have a feeling he's somebody who's kind of not, like, exceptional, but has seen an opportunity to, like, teach despite that. I mean, I've, I've thought about that. I've thought about teaching people Blender, despite not being the best guy in the world, right? Like, I don't know. So I can't hate it. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that he's, like, slimy, but there's just something a little bit weird about it. There's something off about his energy. More of a YouTuber than a um, than a Blender guy, or I guess I should say a game dev, because there's a lot of people who do Blender that would gladly, you know, do that kind of stuff. There we go. This is my starfish. I think that's about as good as I can hope a starfish to be. Um, I put the arms up. I don't think that's like the best idea in the world, but that's fine. Look at this guy. So that's a starfish. Um, so as far as the material goes on the surface of the starfish. Oh, this is gonna be tough. You know what, let's make a starfish collection real quick. 
straight for the teaching at the same time as he is learning, which is fine and pretty smart. Makes uh, He probably makes decent money. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I looked a little bit at his, uh, his analytics, as much as you can publicly find about analytics. And his analytics are honestly a little lower than expected. I'm sure he's doing fine. I'm not trying to like, you know, badmouth the guy. I'm sure he's doing just fine, but um, I feel like he's not, he's not like, he's not Corridor. He's not, he's not one of these peeps. Um, okay, so let's, let's, let's make another Starfish. Yes, this is what I meant to do. Copy paste, we got Starfish number two. We're gonna call this Starfish Detail. And I'm gonna remove the original starfish and we got starfish detail. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it nice and simple and we're gonna apply the subsurface. I'm gonna apply one more subsurface. Should I have done that just default? Yeah, I should have. Uh, doubt he makes 10K a month like he claims. Yeah, that's, that's the big one that I'm referring to for sure. There's only one person that I really trust when it comes to marketing material which might be a bad look on me. Um, I mean, I'll take it as I see it. Um, the only person that I really trust with marketing material is uh, Harris Heller. Um, Harris, he, he's so overly clear with everything that he does that it's hard not to trust the man. If he ended up like getting called out as a liar or something, I'd be like, whoa, what? Like that would that would really surprise me. Um, he man, if you want to get into Twitch, by the way, if you uh, if you need like advice on Twitch or something, um, you should check out Harris Heller on YouTube. Um, he is an exceptional like free resource for streaming. He has so much good information for people, and he's so like. He has that perfect balance of being compassionate and also being like, yeah, I make money. Like he's nice about it, but he's also not like, send me a DM whenever you want. Like he's not one of those guys. He's not like doing charity work. He just makes a lot of money and talks about how he makes a lot of money and is willing to like tell everybody how to do it as well. And I, I really respect that. I respect that so much. So uh, shout out to Harris Heller. All right, let's go ahead and I'm kind of randomly grabbing points. I, I hate to say that I'm doing it randomly, but I am doing it somewhat randomly. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, alpha gaming, yes, alpha gaming for sure. Um, it's, it's alpha gaming, uh, but Harris Heller is the guy. And um, he he has a Twitch channel. He's very good at like growing Twitch channels. That's kind of his whole thing. Okay, let's. I think I might have made a little mistake here, but um, I'm willing to kind of run with it and see what happens. You also notice that I skipped one. I did that on purpose. Don't worry. I'm being very intentional right now, despite looking a little bit random. Um, to be fair, I am actually listening to Harris Heller's music as we're here. Um, so if you need an example of who he is, he's the guy who wrote this music, or he hired somebody who wrote this music, I should say. There we go. I mean, that's it. That is a starfish. That's what a starfish looks like. Could I do all the way down and make all the little criggly cragglies? Yes, I'm not going to. This is too much work. <laughs> but that's it, that's a starfish. Looks great. The bottom, I don't care about. We're not gonna see the bottom, it's not gonna matter. Who cares? If I if it becomes a collectible item or something and you do the Zelda where you put it above your head and it spins, I'll make sure to do the bottom. Don't you worry. But I'm not doing it right now. And the geometry is out of control. So uh, that's gonna be our starfish, done. I'm gonna call it done. Is it done? I don't know, but I'm calling it done. So I will feel free to chug it on over to here. And it's only been 30 minutes, feeling pretty good. 
My favorite of the 3D channels on YouTube is probably Flipped Normals. You know, I don't think I've heard of Flipped Normals. I don't think I've seen any of their content. I'll have to give them a, I'll have to give them a look. I'm pretty sure you've suggested them before. Um, so I guess I just didn't take that. You should have seen. When I think of 3D modelers on YouTube, the three, like the ones that stick out to me, not three, uh, the ones that stick out to me is CG Matter Default Cube, same person. Um, I think of Lazy Tutorials. Oh, I haven't, I didn't watch the uh, thing, by the way. Oh, I just remembered. This was a crazy weekend. I forgot to watch it. You just, uh, if you want, if you want to force me, link it on uh, the 3D channel on Discord, and I will, I will 100% watch it. I just forgot. Um, when I finish stream today, I have to um, do some dishes. I'm going to go do a bunch of dishes, um, and I can watch it while I'm doing dishes. No problem. Okay, so that's a starfish on a rock. The more I look at it, the more I want to make changes to it, but who cares? We're here. There we go. I mean, that that is just fine. Um, so yeah, Ian Hubert, uh, Default Cube, uh, Corridor Digital, even though most of their stuff is not 3D. Um, Blender Guru, obviously. Um, who's the guy? There's a guy who taught me how to do procedural nodes. Um, and he won, like, a short film award for a robot that rolls a ball across the ground. Um, he's wonderful. He's a great 3D artist. Okay, I'm gonna make a sword. Let's make a sword real quick. Everybody take a nice little drink while we're looking. Oh, that's the stuff. Man. Man. Okay, so I'm gonna move some of these photos out of the way and we're gonna make a sword. And why are we making a sword? Who knows, right? Who knows? So I got a sword nice and big in the background and I'm gonna go ahead and just go for it. So get rid of the ocean floor, get rid of the starfish. Let's go ahead and add ourselves a cube. I'm gonna cut the cube in half and we're gonna put a flipped, uh, what am I saying? A flipped mirror on here. So I'm gonna delete those faces, and we're gonna go ahead and just throw on a mirror modifier. And it is going to flip. We'll get we'll get to what that means in just a second. So uh, when making a sword, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it, and I'm going to do the wrong way. Um, mostly because it's fine. It, the, the sword will be easy enough to make. So I want to really get it small, get the whole thing really small. Really, really small, come on. Really small, okay. And then we're going to render out the bottom of this in a perfect circle. Uh, I used the word render in a way that was not logical in any way whatsoever. Let's just pretend I didn't say that. When I said the word render, I actually meant pull. But uh, you all knew what I meant. All right, so that is that. And I can go ahead and just pop up a little thing right here. Make ourselves a handguard. Um, the size I'm not sure about right now. So we're just going to kind of keep it like that. The sword is definitely going to be... That's perfect, that's so perfect. Cool, okay, done, done deal. So the sword should look like this. Is it way too big? Yeah, it's probably pretty too big. Um, also, I'm not gonna sit and do weight balancing on the sword. I don't have that kind of ability right now. I don't have that kind of patience. Also, it is crazy hot in my house. So I'm gonna go check my air real quick. Hold on, one sec. All right, the air is just taking its sweet time, you know? 
It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and get going on this. So what am I looking for? Sword balance. It's probably there. That looks about right to me. That should be it. Okay, so that's the one. And we have a weird zoom now that I've messed it all up. Not loving that zoom. Let's go ahead and apply scale and that should fix our zoom a little bit. Whoa, it doesn't. It doesn't fix our zoom. Um, so I changed my zoom settings and normally it works pretty well, but obviously we're having a little bit of trouble right now. So I'm gonna have to fix those zoom settings one more time, but we'll get there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the handle down to where we like it, and then I'm gonna make it smaller at the bottom, and we'll be uh, good to get started. Do that, make it small, push it on over, make sure it locks to this guy. Sure, looks good enough to me, I guess. Um, and then we're gonna make the little ball on the end, and then we're done. So that's that, and we pop out a little bit of this and make it big and bring it over to the side just a little bit. And that's a ball, done. Okay, so that is the beginnings of our sword. Now we have to make it round. We gotta do all of the little like editing stuff on it. So that's gonna be fun. Um, let's start by first just doing this. And here's where we're gonna see if the flip worked correctly or not. It didn't. It didn't work. Didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. Why did it not flip? Is that not what flipping means? Well, this is confusing, to say the least. Very confusing. I expected that to just flip it. So you know what? We're just gonna wait to do that part. Um, I want this to be the opposite direction on that side. I thought flip would just do it. But uh, it's not. So I think I'm just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait on that. And we're gonna be very careful of our zoom right now. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop out the beginning of this. So first off, merge at center, merge at center, add another mirror. Mm, I don't know about that. I think we're just gonna leave it as is. I think it's fine. I'm gonna merge at last, give ourselves a nice little point to the sword. And we're gonna merge at center, and I'm not gonna add any sort of fuller or anything like that. Normally a fuller would be pretty nice on something like this, but there's no need. There's no need for anything like that. Okay, so what I'm looking to do is grab all of this. Come on, not that. Control all the way down to here. Control, control, control and we're gonna bring these guys out so we're trying to make a circle right we're trying to make as close to a circle as possible should probably do the same thing on this so what I should do is probably cut this guy in half like that and we'll do the exact same thing center sure why not Center, you're good. We'll do that and then we'll do the exact same thing. Control, 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 control. Okay, that's that. And now all we need to do is do the little flip on it and I'll do the flip later once we get, um, once we get the mirror set. 
Now, I hate to say it, I think I want to subsurface this guy. I'm kind of thinking subsurfacing's gotta be the way that we do this. I think it's gonna look really good. So if I just put an edge on here real quick, nice little crease, and we just attempt to add a subdivision real quick. What are we looking at? Okay, well, it's pretty bad looking. Um, just initially, it's pretty bad looking. So, I don't know why this is the way it is. CQDK, hello, welcome here. Let's get into the actual, like, geometry part of this and see what is going on. Sure, we'll just grab the whole thing, I don't care. Grab the whole thing, scooch it on over. Okay, there's a merge, so that's that part's fine. We're looking for a merge. Why won't it merge? Why does this not merge? What? Why won't you merge? Remove the faces at the intersection. That's that's a pretty smart idea. That's a pretty smart idea there, bud. Um. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Remove the subdivision. Let's uh, let's go into some some X-ray kind of stuff. Boom, 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 boom. There's a bunch of these guys. Okay, so that is not how I thought it was supposed to work, but it it's fixed now, as far as I can tell. And this part is clean. There's one more. There's one more up here somewhere. Where are you? I'm looking for you. There you are. Boom. No. Oh, what? Why is deleting this? There we go. Okay, I must have pressed edges by accident. This reminds me of the first time I saw one of your streams. Why is that? Was I making a sword? Okay, so if I go back to subdivision, we still have that gross little bit on the bottom, but it did lip a little bit better. So I'm assuming I just have a few more faces like that. Uh, you're making an ax or something? I believe I remember that stream. And uh, that ax was pretty gross. I remember making an axe, and it was, um, it was pretty gross. It was a gross looking axe. It was like a light axe, and it had a compass on it. I mean, I, it was kind of cool for what it was, but it was um, just a little much. Okay, and now we can remove the mirror on this, remove the mirror on this. Come on, just take the mirror. I'm saying remove mirror. I'm not removing the mirror at all. I just don't understand how to say words correctly today for some reason. Um, so I didn't remove any mirrors. I just turned it into um, an even thing. Yes, the compass. I do remember that stream. That was a weird one. One of the weirder ones I've done. Also, I don't know why this side is doing this. I think we've really botched this sword, um, which, you know, that now let's talk about vintage streams. Boy, do I feel like this is a vintage stream. Botching our models is very much in line with what we're doing. There we go. You know what? That's better. It was a great stream. I mean, to some degree, I hope every stream is a great stream. I'm always I'm always trying. Not always succeeding, but I'm always trying. Okay, so we're gonna just pull down a little bit. 
Oh wait, what is this? There's an intersection in here? What is all this? The heck is this? Why is this here? Let's uh, dissolve these faces. That was weird. <clears throat> I don't remember putting that there. Okay, so this is it. Nice and done. Got ourselves a little bit of a uh, pommel to grab onto. The like, handle is fine. We gotta fix this. This looks bad. Um, and what I wanna do is I want to add one more intersection right here. And one more intersection down here. Thinking off the top of my head real quick. The A is the best in grades, right? Yes. Um, an A is the best grade you can get. I mean, technically an A plus is the best grade you can get, but it's the same difference. Might as well be the exact same thing. Oh, it didn't work. That's frustrating. That's very frustrating. Okay, let's, uh, let's fix this real quick. Merge at center, merge at center, merge at center, merge at center. There we go. That should be a little bit better. And then now we can go ahead and grab our distance right here. And grab our distance down here. And I look up at this and why is this so weird looking? What? What the heck happened to this guy? Okay, you know what? We gotta fix this. This, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it looks like that. You need to be in line with everybody else. Just like that. I must have merged at last instead of merging at center, but that's fine. Um, I don't want to spend too long on this sword. I'm, I know I'm like starting to get into it. Um, I don't want to spend too long on the sword because I feel like I'm just going to end up working on the sword instead of what I'm supposed to be working on, which is the fish. But... The sword is an important part of this sketch, so uh, we need to keep it. And um, I need every excuse I can get to make weapons, because um, I have basically an infinite amount of weapons that I have to make, uh, based on what it is that I am doing as far as sketches go. Okay, I'm gonna major crease those, and we're gonna try and keep this guy from doing this. So I wanna crease this as well. No, please. So we're gonna wanna crease this, right? Yeah, boom, done. Crease all of this. And I guess we're just gonna crease the whole sword. Um, I got an A on the English test. Uh, I got a suggestion, I can say it whenever. Okay. You've said it. You've said the activating phrase. You've you've activated the slime word for the day. If I had a big, uh, giant thing of slime that I could rain down on me and ruin my bedroom, I would. Uh, but alas, I care too much about my own property to uh, allow that to happen. Um, I have changed. I have changed the way that we do things. Um, you will notice in the Discord channel... There is a new, uh, or the Discord server, I should say. There is a new channel called Voting. And we are now going to vote there on our um, sketches. And here's how it's going to work. So, you have one word. You can only suggest one word. If you don't suggest one word, I will do my best to interpret it as one word. And if you make my job hard, then I'm just not going to accept <laughs> the word in general. Um, so you get one word, and everybody's going to vote on their favorites. And um, I'm going to accept only the highest voted words. Now, in the beginning, with like our numbers right now, because we have kind of mixed attendance. Some days I get like... Um, Six average viewers, some days I get one average viewer, who knows? So it'll be a little spotty in the beginning. 
but uh, we'll work as best as we can. Um, but ultimately, I'm, I'm planning, if ever we have like dozens of people suggesting sketches, this is it. This is the system. So, uh, Joe has suggested pain. Yes, you can go to Discord and say, uh, bone. Uh, you only get one message every six hours. Okay, so Joe's saying pain. That's it. That's all he's got. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty decent about this. It proportionally it looks a little bit weird for me, but I don't I don't hate it. Like it's just a little weird looking. You did it? Good, very good. Man, I'm usually pretty good at making swords. I don't know why I can't make this sword work. I don't know what's wrong with this sword, but you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and finalize because I want to move on to the fish. I don't want to keep doing this. The fish are really the thing that we're out after today. So let's do the fish. Pain and bone sounds pretty good. That's a very CQDK thing to say. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and say that is terrible. You know, I'm like, I'm like not sold on the sword. We're gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna make a little sword collection, but I'm, I'm done with the sword. I'm done thinking about this. I've made so many better swords in my life. Um, when I'm not streaming, I make myself a lot of swords because uh, the current project that I'm working on is demanding that I make a lot, a lot of swords. Um, but that sword just wasn't turning out. I think I just, I'm too distracted. I'm not thinking enough. So goodbye. Say bye to the sword. Let's go ahead and get into the fun of it. So let's make a jellyfish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish are super cool. Jellyfish have such an interesting like set to them. Um, I really like jellyfish. I wouldn't mind being reincarnated as a jellyfish. Just kind of chilling out, hanging out all day, swimming around, doing nothing. That'd be lovely. So, of course, it's got to be a UV sphere. What else could it be? Um, I'm going to lower our limits, though, quite a bit. We're going to say uh, 20 by 12. Make it bigger. Um, and we're going to cut it. You're the small C. You just saw some jellyfish? Where'd you see jellyfish? I feel like we don't really have jellyfish in Florida. Like... Hello? Why can't I... What? Why can't I select... What's happening? Oh, I changed my selection mode. Okay, okay, we're back. That was weird. That was a weird little accident. Freaked me out. I was about to lose my mind. Um, at the COFC, what is that? An aquarium? You got. You got to give us context, CQDK. You always just say things like we know. We know what anything is. Like your uh, your teacup. Your teacup is a perfect example. You post that crazy looking teacup on the Discord and everyone's like, what the heck is this? And you're like, it's a teacup. That doesn't help anybody. <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. Gotta, you gotta be expressive. All right, so I think I used an odd number. So I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble doing a sequence on this thing, but I think threes will work. Yep, it's even, perfect. Perfect, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cup the part of it that um, has, so when you look at a jellyfish, there's these little cups, right? These little bits. I'm just cupping, that's all I'm doing right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab 
each of the cups. We're gonna we're gonna do our best to make like the the nicest looking jellyfish that we can in 30 minutes, maybe. I'm gonna make a really good jellyfish. No people need to use their mind to get new, even more crazy ideas. Mm, I mean, that's true to some degree, but there's only so much like mental power people have to spare per day. Once I've like washed the dishes for an hour and like had to do my taxes and had to think about this and that and this, there's only so much that I'm willing to do in a day. Okay, so we're gonna, yeah, nah, I don't wanna do that part. That, this is good, this is, a, this is a perfectly fine jellyfish. For an hour, dishes take a while. We don't have a dishwasher, which is the worst thing in the world. I hate not having a dishwasher so much, um, but you do what you gotta do, you adapt, you know, all that sort of stuff. And, um, not having a dishwasher has made me like I put in headphones and I listen to podcasts or audiobooks or whatever and I just like I just go into my own little world when I'm doing dishes and uh you know it's kind of nice in that way do I wish I had a dishwasher yeah I wish I didn't have to do dishes for an hour but um it is what it is that's a pretty good looking jellyfish, if I do say so myself. Yeah, man, being an adult's hard. Being an adult sucks. Color me not a fan of being an adult. I like listening to horror stories when I do stuff. Yeah, I feel I feel like that. Um, I listen to SCP mostly. SCPs are like my jam. I go, I go crazy for SCPs. We're gonna do a little bit of proportion. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, she looks so good. If I wanted to, I could throw a little bit of a fabric displacement on here and I think that would look pretty good. You've heard of SCP before? So, okay, shout outs to somebody. Um, the Exploring series. They're on YouTube and they're on Spotify. I'm sure they're on other things too. Uh, but Spotify is where I listen to them. The Exploring series. They just do one SCP at a time, once a week on Monday. So they came out with a new one this morning. Um, and it's just like detailed little bits about SCPs. It's super nice. It's very lovely. Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem and I gotta make hair, but the hair can only be, are you making that to scale? Um, no, <laughs> the short answer is no. Um, I'm pretty much just eyeballing it. Um, why, you wanna give me, let's, let's hear some wisdom. Let's, let's get the good wisdom on there. I appreciate uh, I appreciate any and all input. By the way, I'm not I'm not thin skinned when it comes to this stuff. There we go. Let's say uh, 0 0.05. That's pretty good. And then I can attach hair onto that rim. If I remove the subsurface, what are we looking at? Just asking. I I'm bad at making stuff to scale. Yeah. So I have the advantage. Um, this is going to be used for a project that is fictional. Um, I'm putting this into a, like, a borderline fantasy world, like a magical world. Um, so if it ends up not being to scale, I don't super care. Um, but it does matter. I mean, I should, I should think about it, right? Okay, so let's pop, let's make these uh, little orbs of light. And they're not orbs at all. I don't know why I would call them orbs, but that's an orb to me, sure. Why not? Um, so I want to curve 
As long as it looks cool, absolutely. Sniper, by the way, ES Sniper. Um, how long have you been 3D modeling? Always like to ask everybody about how long they've been 3D modeling. Hmm. I'm looking at this. That's a weird looking. No, I don't want that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. No way. We want. Um, we want probably just like a simple. I'm thinking of NURBS. I'm looking at NURBS and I'm like, NURBS is not bad. Five months, I'm making a tank. Uh, Want to see? Absolutely. We love uh, we love showing off people's work here. Five months is pretty admirable to be making a tank. Oh, this is not gonna track, is it? If I, oh gosh. You can't merge. Ooh, color me scared about this. Give it a skull in the middle, that'll make it look cool. No, 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 no. We're not going high fantasy. We're gonna make a normal jellyfish. It's just also going to be not to scale. Um, Sniper, I don't know how you feel about Discord, but if you wanna pop in the Discord server, that might be one of the easier ways. Ugh. You're awesome. Thank you for the follow. Hey. The heck? There's no way this is five months. All right, let's take a look at this. There ain't no way that's five months. You're crazy, man. You made this in five months? You're nuts. That's so good. Does it animate? All right, we're back. Yeah, it's like super good. Um, how do you feel about nodes? Okay, so that seems like the next course of action for you is to get into nodes. Um, okay, so I hate working with curves. I just hate curves so much. If I just edit this bad boy. Oh, this could work, this could work. I can do this. Boom. We'll do it just like that, perfect. Uh, I've been modeling for five months and that took me one day to model. There's no way. You are, you are pulling our leg now. There ain't no way that's true. There we go. And what do we want? We want that nice, oh yeah, we want that like really accentuated curve. So I wanna go back a little bit and back a little bit. Unless a day of modeling to you is like 20 hours straight, there's no way. Okay, I'll give you that. If, if you're up all night, that's, that's a little bit better. That's more believable. Like there's absolutely no way. <laughs> By the way, you're 14. Okay, now I'm not sure what to believe. Now I'm not sure I know what I believe. All right. Well, Sniper, it's a very nice looking tank. You've done a very good job. Um, what is your goal with uh, 3D modeling? Pog another miner. I mean, you're all just people. Let's not let's not be too weird about it. Everyone here is just a just we're all equal, nice people. We're not gonna focus on age or anything like that. Cause the more we focus on age, the weirder it's gonna be. There we go. That's about perfect. <laughs> just bored? Well, just off the top of your head, like, what do you want? Like, what's uh, what what would be the goal for you if you were like, all of a sudden you have access to, I don't know, a game studio or a, a movie studio or something? What would you make? What would you like to make with all of your stuff? 
I'm gonna say 24 is probably fine, and then we'll go ahead and uh, fill out the geometry. So when I look at this, that's pretty thin, but it's probably not that thin. So we'll say 0 0.02, and we're gonna fill caps. Ideally, I wanna bevel those caps, but it's probably fine like this. I'm working on a small animation. Uh, does that count? That totally counts. What are you animating? Also, judging based on your name, you got Sniper and you got Tanks. I'm assuming you're into like, you know, war and combat and all that sort of stuff. This looks good. This is fine. I'm not gonna think too much more about this. This is it, right here. Done. So I wanna go back into edit mode. I wanna grab the whole thing and I wanna scooch it over to be exactly over the origin point and up. Not in a messed up way though. I mean, I appreciate you saying that. It's very good of you to say that. I mean, there's a lot of like games content for war and shooting and all that sort of stuff. I think if you're, you know, reasonable about it, it ain't that big of a deal. Oh, I should do it based on the jellyfish, shouldn't I? Yes, I should. Okay, so I'm gonna do jellyfish. Okay, so back to um, original question. Um, how do you feel about materials? How are you? Uh, how are you doing with materials? We're gonna call this jelly lights. That should be just fine, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the jellyfish. Messed with the before, not bad. That's good. I would argue materialing is probably one of the things that I'm a little bit better at, personally. You know what, if I just copy this, get rid of jellyfish, grab jelly two, go to jellyfish, then we're gonna grab you and just rotate you 90 degrees. Just a clean 90 degrees right there and rotate you based on X. And we're gonna grab both of these guys and shrink them down. And then I'm gonna go into edit. Okay, that didn't work. We're gonna go into edit on one of them. And just scooch it on over like that. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other one. Edit, grab you, scooch on over. And we got ourselves a nice little SpongeBob looking jellyfish. Sent a Discord pick. That's the most time I've spent on it. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, it's pretty good. Let's show that off. Got ourselves a little waterway. Now, not to be a weirdo, um, it does look a little like North Korean. Looks a little bit like, um, where's my, where's join? Am I, not, am I looking right at it? Join, 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 join. Hello? Join, why can't I join? Something's weird. Um, it does look a little bit North Korean. Transform curve to mesh and order apply. Oh, it's cause they're curves. I understand. Let's convert to mesh and then we'll call it. Convert you to a mesh and repeat. And now they're both meshes and now we can join. And we got the lights, done. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get to it. The HDR might be the model is from Italy, like the waterways they have there. Got it, yeah. I definitely think it's the HDRI, no worries. Um, I've also just been on a North Korean kick lately. I've been looking up a bunch of stuff about North Korea, so um, just have a bias towards it in my own way. It's a very interesting, perplexing place, even if it is a bit scary. 
There we go. So that's the beginning of our jellyfish. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, material this guy up and then we're gonna add those little uh, hairs onto it. Should I add the hairs right now? Probably yes. Okay, let's do that. Let's do the hairs. Color me a little bit worried about how this is gonna work. Because I gotta be very precise with it. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. This is not gonna work at all. Oh no. This is gonna be a tough one. This is gonna be a real tough one, man. They're so poor, they just have stuff that they're expensive seem more intimidating. Um, oh, for sure. Their, their economy is like drained. Hmm. I'm not really sure how I should be making these hairs. Ideally, I wanna just grab it. Maybe I can do that. Maybe we can just do like a grab somewhere. Man, it would be so nice. Oh, I can do a vertex group. I got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. I know what I'm doing. I'm overcomplicating things as per the norm. We can just do a vertex group like that. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and establish that as jelly edge. We're going to assign that and we're set. That's what I'm doing. You got me. Okay, so let's uh, let's pop in some hair. Let's go ahead and do our groups. The density will be Jelly Edge. Yikes, big yikes. Um, what we're gonna wanna do is make sure they all face the same direction. Well, let's start by removing um, some segments of hair first and making them the correct length. Three is probably about right. And now I need them all to have the correct rotation. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Hair shape. This is a tough one. Tough, 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 tough. Roughness, twist. I don't think there is a way to do just like direction. This might be a little bit beyond me. I might not be good for it. Um, what's the fantasy world that I'm working on? Um, yeah, so I've been working on this for a little bit now. I'm gonna hide the hair. We're just gonna do some material editing to begin with. I'll come back to the hair a little bit later. Um, so the world that we're working on is... How to explain it? How to explain it? Basically, what I'm doing is I am making a scene. I'm, I'm working on a game, to put it lightly. Um, I'm working on a game, my first like official game. I'm working on a game where you're like watching the aftermath of a disaster. Something like really crazy happens and you're seeing just the last little bit of it. Um, and you, you're, it's a walking sim for the most part. Um, and basically what it is, is it is a castle, quote unquote. I'm gonna say castle for the time being. I did save, don't worry, I already saved. Um, uh, so it's, it's a castle that, um, what? Why can't I, oh, that's strange. Okay, sure. Uh, it's a castle. Hold on. Hello? Jesus Christ. That's a big ass spider. So 
that's the second time a spider has um showed up on stream. <laughs> My gosh. That freaked me the heck out. All of a sudden, I just saw something like dark, just like, whoom, in the background. Um, and it was a spider. That's per the norm. Anyway, so you're in a castle, and you've w you're witnessing um, something a little bit weird happening. Whoa. I'm talking about something a little bit weird. That's a little bit weird. You're, uh, you're witnessing something a little bit weird happening to the castle. Um, and you're sort of just working backwards to uncover what happened, even though it's like still kind of happening while you're there. Um, so it's mostly European in setting, but um, it's going to be fairly fantastical. A spider bit me and my foot uh, swelled about an inch. That's, uh, that's pretty terrible. Spiders are uh, definitely pretty wily animals. I like spiders. I'm a big fan of spiders personally, but like, man, you don't mess with spiders. Spiders will get you. There we go. That'll do. Chaos. Hello. Chaos, how you doing? Chaos, I feel like it's been a little bit since you streamed. Everything going okay? Or have you been streaming and I just miss it? You stream at a time that I'm usually like kind of working, um, but I feel like I haven't seen you post too much on Discord as far as um, the stream schedule stuff goes. Uh, okay, I'm not reading that one out loud. That's a strange comment. I uh, took a week off, uh, hoping to get uh, back into it tomorrow. Got it. Well, uh, good. I look forward to uh, your stream tomorrow. You've also been playing with your schedule a little bit. I saw that you did like a really late stream at one point. Um, so I'm assuming just, you know, some life stuff. How am I doing? Uh, I am like perfectly normal. Or not normal, perfectly neutral. I'm never normal. Uh, just, just living my life, you know? Uh, I got to find a way to make realistic trees. No, don't, let's not talk about this spider. Uh, okay, a way to make realistic trees. Um, it depends what you think realistic means. So I'm not going to be the one to uh, tell you yes, no, maybe so. But uh, here is a simple way to make trees. There's an add-on um, call in your curves called sapling tree gen. And you just make it. And it makes you a tree. And then you can make leaves. And you got yourself a tree. Nice and done. Takes two seconds. Super nice. I mean, everything comes from nature at the end of the day, right? All right. So that is as good of a jellyfish as I can hope for. Although there is a part of me that wants to really mess with this guy. The add-on is called... Let's see here, I'm looking for it. Sapling Tree Gin. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop in um, a little color node real quick, and I'm gonna randomize these jellyfish. There's no reason not to randomize them, so I'm gonna randomize them. So we're gonna do this. Hello again, Barrel. How was Titanfall? That's probably about the different colors that you would expect of a jellyfish, although I might go like pink. Yep, that's the color I'd expect of a jellyfish. Anywhere from pink to that. If I was doing SpongeBob, I would add spots to them, but I'm not doing that, so this is what we get. 
Oh man, every time I do these random color nodes, I like to add a really small random chance for a color. What would be a weird color for a jellyfish? Actually, I know a normal color for a jellyfish. Let's add um, white. White seems like a very typical color for a jellyfish. Um, and now, what is a weird color for a jellyfish? Really small chance. Hmm. Let me, let me test it over here real quick. What do we want? Green. I mean, cyan is nice. I really like the cyan look. I'm just such a sucker for cyan in general. Red seems high on my list. Maybe like a purpley red. Like that color. Yeah, let's use that color. That'll be the one. Bada boom. Okay, cool. So now we have a really small random chance to get that like vibrant red color. Uh, cool. So let's uh, poke that in. Joe. Joe is feisty today. Joe said, I put all the effort into getting my new house. I got, I got no kindness to spare. Sure. That'll be our jellyfish. Done. Cool. So let's pop them in and uh, call them a day. And I'm going to skip the hair for now. So, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Let's uh, not think about that sword and let's go to the pre rendered view. Oh, look at him. Oh, what an edgelord. What a little edgelord. All right, so I got one hour before we speed sketch. I kind of wanted to make an angler fish. I kind of want to make an eel. If I make an angler fish, I'm not going to have time to animate it. If I make the eel, I probably will have time to animate it. Ideally. Ideally. I'm not going to say anything. You're experiencing a chemical imbalance. What the heck does that mean? Would we rather see... We're seeing eel... Okay, we gotta, we gotta vote for eel. I think I'm leaning eel as well. So I'm just gonna take that and we're gonna run with that. So let's make ourselves an eel. Let's see here, cube. Okay, so angler fish, we're gonna call you angler reference. Actually, you know what, I'm just deleting you. You're deleted, goodbye. I have you sitting on my desktop. I can fix you anytime I want. Yeah, are you doing okay? Is it like a, is it malnutrition? Do you need like a, a little resource that you're not getting or something? I do that to myself all the time. You're probably missing a, uh, a nutrient somewhere. I do that so very often. I'll sit and eat like what I think is normal. And I, and I feel like, oh, I'm doing good. I'm eating so nice, whatever. And then I just get like, insatiably messed up like I just get so weirdly messed up for some reason and then um, I go eat a piece of fruit and I'm fine and I'm good no problem okay so we're gonna go ahead and apply rotation to this guy this is gonna be our new default rotation and I'm gonna grab the whole thing and scooch him up make him look like a little bit of a sword So uh, make sure you're getting your nutrients, everybody. It's very important, very important, very important. What am I, a cartoon character? Very important that you get your um, your nutrients in because the human body is a fickle beast. The human body is crazy, right? You can survive falling from literally infinite height if you land flat. Like if you spread your body out and you land flat, you can survive like falling from space. You could you could fall from an infinite height and survive. You'll be beat up, but you'll live, right? You can do that. But if you eat the wrong little bits of food, <laughs> you die, right? Like the human body's messed up. It's an aggressive thing. 
Okay, we're gonna do that. I made myself a steak sandwich. It was so good. There's no way you're 14. Just putting that out there, <laughs> you're not 14. No 14 year old has ever made a steak sandwich. Unless you're like Russian. Um, you don't have to tell us where you're from. I think that's actually like kind of BM, but um, I'm joking for the most part. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some subsurfacing. Um, you're American. I've never met a 14 year old like you. I'll, I'll put that out there. Okay, I mean, that's it. We're, we're basically already done. Right, that's already an eel. Um, I'm gonna ignore most of the mouth because I don't want these little tendrils or whatever. Um, but the rest of it will be good. So what I wanna do is probably... Ooh, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble with this one. So first things first, make that small. And then we're going to extrude out Make that big. That is the mouth. That is the eye right there. Okay, nice and easy. We're just going to J this. And we're going to go ahead and rip these vertices right here and make ourselves a mouth. And then we'll cup the mouth once we really get into it. So I should just be able to press V, Z. Oh no. I didn't think, I didn't use my brain. I didn't use my brain on that one. Uh, VZ. There we go. Oh, he looks so good already. He's such a curious little boy. Okay, yeah, that's, that's an eel. So I'm gonna bring its mouth way back and make it a little bit smaller. And now we just need to cup the ends of these guys and we're set. We'll just begin modeling out the uh, center of the mouth. Oh, look at him. He looks so good. Tell you what, I wanna get into this so I can see my actual like um, curves and stuff real quick. But uh, so far, so good. Okay, we got that done, and we got this. Am I gonna give him an esophagus? I don't know. Do I want to give him an esophagus? I suppose I have to, right? So the easiest way I can think to do this is pop in a mouth there, pop in a mouth there. Reduce down. Get rid of that for just a sec. Is that gonna be all right? That might be all right. Part of me really wants to take this and merge at center, but I think that would be not a great idea. So I'm gonna not do that. Instead, we're gonna do it like this. This is a hard guy to think about. There we go, we'll do it just like that. And I'll extrude two of them in. Here we go, got it, we're here, I'm back. Got it all figured out. Now we just grab you and we poke you on up. Like that, and that, and we should be good. Uh, how do you make the leaves? Um, it's a separate tab up at the top of the, um, the editor. So you should be on like just the sapling part of it and then you click a tab and it'll give you leaves. All right, go ahead and extrude down just a little bit. Here we go, we got a little flat fish. Minnow, little baby minnow. It's one of the first uh, sketches I ever made. I made that little, uh, little terrible fish. Uh, our good bud Joe in chat um, asked me to uh, make it in 30 minutes. And it was the first of the speed sketches that I ever did, and uh, it went pretty well. I mean, it's terrible, but it's it's great how terrible it is, I think. What the heck is going on? Oh, I see. 
you can get lost in fishing. I mean, any sort of meditative activity like that is um, is golden, right? Didn't think about this part. Didn't think about how this was gonna work. I just screwed ourselves a little bit on this one. I think we just wanna merge at center. And that'll fix a lot of our problems. Merge at center solves that problem. And then this guy needs to be brought up and this guy needs to be brought down. And then we poke a hole in the back and we plug the hole way back. Yeah, it's just another tab. When you're when you're when you're making the tree, you just gotta look at the top. There's a little tab for it. Alright, so if I put on my subsurface here, oh look at him. Look at him. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and expand out the mouth just a little bit. Oh, why is that getting plugged in? Yeah, I don't know. You might need to look up documentation then. I don't know how to help you. Um, it's, it's just in the leaf tab and then there's a button that says show leaf, right? There we go. Get that mouth open wide. Get the top one open wide. And we have most of an eel. Now, I think I wanna try and like manipulate the mouth a little bit. This little spike up here is definitely, oh, I should be using the spike, obviously. What am I doing? That's the one right there. Use this spike to press forward. And we got ourselves a mouth, done. And that one sits flat, yeah, there he is. That's a little, little guy. And we're gonna plug the cheeks in really thin because the, the head, it gets really thin at the cheeks and then we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Hello, please grab that. Here we go. Grab that. Man, it's it's like really in there. It's hard to see. That I believe is what a a guy looks like. Now, there's a little piece poking out here, and I'm not sure where that's coming from, because I thought it was symmetrical. But I guess maybe it's not symmetrical for some reason? Get me out of this rendered view. Why is this not... What is that? Just the piece is, like, not sitting correctly. But it does when you do the subsurface, so not a big deal. Who cares? And that's probably the best eel I'm gonna make for the time being. So we'll go ahead and uh, stick the ribbon on it. Um, I probably wanna take the body and make the body thinner. Thinking a little bit more realistically here and then we'll uh, get going on the rest of this. So if I do that and I'll do this. And we scale them down, make sure that we're not overlapping on the mouth again. It's impossible to tell and it won't rotate correctly because the scale is terrible. Nah, that should be fine. Bada boom. Little skinny eel man. We got a thing sticking out. Man, this is, this is proving to be a real challenge. This little eel guy is not wanting to comply with us. Get into edit mode. And what is that? Ugh, I hate the controls for this. Okay, we're gonna use control zoom for the time being because uh, it is it is being super stressful for me. 
Okay, so we want these two to come in. You gotten the nubpad keyboard yet? No. <laughs> no, I haven't. All middle mouse click helps focus on a certain spot. My middle mouse is set up a little bit differently on this instance. Um, but yeah, it's just being frustrating. You know what? I could grab you. Here we go. I got it. This is probably gonna be the easiest way to do this. And now we come back and we're done. We, we fixed it. Okay, done. Just a little bit of freaking out and now we're done. Now we're here. So what I'm gonna want is the nice little drag line across this guy's body. So to do that should be pretty easy. If I know correctly, I should be able to just take this. And it's gonna go start here, right? Yeah, that's gonna be the one. Nice and straight down the body. Juni, hello. Busy day? Unfortunately, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not fine for you, but like, you don't need to worry about us. Juni, how, how is work going? Whatever you want to tell us about work. Obviously, you don't owe us anything, but uh, how's, how's your work going? There we go. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit wavy. Because uh, it's an organic animal. It would never form exactly right. So I'm just kind of getting a little bit weird with it, but trying to keep it believable. Hate it. Training is still going, and I'm uh, actively applying new jobs while training. I don't blame you, man. The working world is just a mess. Just a total mess. There we go. That's Look at that wave. That's a great wave. And there's now a little bit on the end here that I got to fix. I'm not sure why that's there. We'll get back to that. And there's this really strong edge right here. We'll just auto normal that. We'll make that look nice in uh, in post. Um, I think something that'll help a lot is if I grab you and I extrude and I bevel, which, hello? There we go, much better. A Little bit of a bevel and why is it doing that? Why is that weird? Isn't that strange? What is going on? If I dissolve vertices right here, how terrible is this gonna be? If I dissolve you, yeah, it just gets worse. Why? Why is it doing this? Why is the subsurface making this guy crazy? Like that just plugs into here, right? There's no reason to make a little edge. If anything, it should like completely round out. Hmm. If I were to delete this face, just as a thought, it solves the problem, no, no problem at all. Weird, 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 weird. That's really strange. Okay, you know what, that's fine, we'll just do that. We'll do this guy right here. I'm gonna grab this and dissolve edge. We're gonna grab this and you, and we're gonna scoot you on back. And it does it again. This is cursed. This is a cursed, uh, cursed render right here. You know what, if I push this forward, we should be fine. It hates the end of this eel. This eel hates us. He's like, I don't ever want to be rendered. Please stop rendering me. Hmm, strange. Okay. How 
How social is everybody's jobs? Do you guys have social jobs or are you guys just like independent little units? My last job, um, I basically never talked to anybody unless I got called by like a manager. I wasn't, um, I wasn't really like quote unquote part of the team. Uh, what is happening? This is such a cursed model. Okay, I'm gonna merge by distance and it's not gonna do anything, which is terrible. And I'm going to auto smooth and that's probably not gonna do too, too much, but a man can dream. This is awful. What is happening to you? Uh, this job is somewhat social since your team is part of your support system. If you have questions, my last job actively discouraged people talking to one another. That's a yikes. That's a big yikes. I can't believe like how deeply mistreated people in the workforce are. It's very weird. Like, I don't know. Very odd. Very odd the way people are treated. Because when you look at it historically, right? When you look at like people who have been mistreated in the past, it always ends badly for the people who are mistreating them. It always ends up being a huge problem. And it's weird when you see people just like, ah, the past is the past, who cares? My workers won't unionize. Why would they do that? It's like, I wonder why they do that. I know it's just greed at the end of the day, but greed, greed is so strange to me. Usually people that are nice gain more. All right, so that should be fine. It's how they keep people from unionizing, but I mean, you're only inspiring people to unionize. You're only making it worse. Okay, check this out. We're gonna do um, a little secret technique that I've learned at my time in the trenches. Boom. It wouldn't let me do a normal loop cut, so I forced it to do a loop cut. Like, I, I, I've I, made a loop cut through my own sheer willpower. Um, so take that. There we go. That's a wavy boy. His normals need a lot of love. He's got so many weird problems with him. That tail is the worst. In fact, I kind of want to just take the tail and make it um, a point. Is this going to be the worst idea of my life? Is this going to be such a problem? This is going to be so bad. This is going to be terrible. Oh, it's not bad. Actually, looks a little bit better. There's a missing vertice. There you are. That's not half bad at all. There we go. That's a bit better of a look. Cool. Okay, done. For sure. But they can toss as many um, hurdles as they can. Yeah, I just I don't get I don't get why companies do that. Like again, I get it from like a greed standpoint. I get why people are quote unquote not nice. But it never pans out. And then these people who do this, their company fails. And they're always like, oh, I don't know how my company failed. And they do this big pretend thing. And it's like, ah, it's because you're a jerk. That's why your company failed. I don't know. I just, I can't stand it. It drives me nuts. Because it always ends badly. And these companies always act like, how could this have happened? It's like, come on. You just, you want to let the whole world know that you, you're you dumb and you don't know how to take care of people and that you don't deserve human rights? Like, why? Why are you doing this to people? Anyway, <laughs> not to get political. Just, I've had a lot of weird work experiences personally. I've worked at a lot of very abusive jobs um, in my life. So uh, I tend to care a lot about uh, human rights and all that sort of stuff. As you should, as everybody should, but... I just have a lot of personal experience with it. Drives me nuts when you see companies get away with stuff and just be disrespectful. That is a pretty good looking eel. I hate the way that the normals are cutting, but we'll get there. 
Elysium position. What is Elysium? Can you explain what that means for us? Can you give us a little, little down low on what that is? All right, time for eyeballs. So when I think eyeballs, yep, a UV sphere with really simple geometry is gonna be it. And we're gonna make ourselves just the silliest, weirdest little tiny eyeballs. Eels have the best eyes in the world. They're always like in bizarro positions. Like if you think about an eel, right? Its mouth is right here. It has a little ridge inside of its mouth. So instead of putting an eye here, where there's like tendons and the brain is probably pretty close by, there's a bunch of little veins that creep on the roof of its mouth to where its eye is. Doesn't seem like such a poor design. Doesn't seem like the worst possible way to make an eye on a creature. But that's what they do. Let's go, let's go even funnier. Let's make let's make the best like. If eels are gonna have funny eyes, let's give them like the best, goofiest looking eyes you've ever seen. There we go. <laughs> Look how good he looks. Ah, oh. Elysium is a movie about how all the rich people fled the crumbling earth and poor to uh, live in a uh, paradise space station. Got it. I don't want to spoil too much because it's it's kind of a rich plot and it's got a lot of little tiny pieces to it that are super cool. But a game that a lot of people didn't um, really give the time of day to is Xeno Chronicles X. You know, a lot of people talk about Xenoblade. Um, Xenoblade's great. I mean, I love Xenoblade. Um, but Xenoblade Chronicles, the one where you drive big old mechs, um, the story to that is fascinating. What a bizarre, what a bizarre game. I, uh, I highly recommend it to anybody. When you first play that game, it has um, it has this weird like turn-based but not turn-based uh, combat system. And when you play it at first, you're kind of like, "This is weird," because I'm not like fully in control of my character. But uh, if you get into it, it's good. It's really good. Do we have eyes? Nope, it's on the Y, and there we go, and we got eyes. Boom. Okay, so there's a lot I want to do to this eel. I want to make this eel better, but um, for the time being, this is going to have to be how we do it. And it looks all right. He looks fine. So we're going to go ahead and make the body. So let's, uh, let's put an armature in this guy. So what I want is to do this. And we're gonna go into edit mode. And by that, I meant, hello? Oh, there he is. Okay, so we got ourselves an armature. Let's go ahead and rotate it by 90 degrees. Bada boom. And we're gonna plug our eel back in. And I'm gonna make him a little bit see-through so we can see what we're doing. And this should be pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna start right here on the body. And I should be able to just take it, grab you, and form new armatures out the back of you. This is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to relearn my controls for just a sec. Uh, EX, there we go. EX. EX. I don't know how many vertebrae I should do. We're gonna do just one and see what it looks like. And I'm gonna see if this works. Let's go ahead and bring that one just a little bit down. And I'll bring you just a little bit down and you just a little bit down and that should be it. Okay, so we got ourselves a armature for the eel. 
Uh, Simo, if you're still here, I have a question for you. I'm pretty sure what we do is we grab the armature and we shift click you. And I go... Armature with automatic weights. Do I do armature with automatic weights to uh, link the two of them together? Is that correct? Did I just do it right? Okay, perfect. Good to know. Okay, we're done. So if I take this little armature here and we go into edit mode and I wanna go into pose mode, I don't wanna go into edit mode. I just go, oh no, that didn't work. Be right back, you're fine. You all owe me nothing ever. Oh, it's not working, why is it not working? Have I done something wrong? I've done something wrong, haven't I? The armature belongs to Eel. Try again. When you say try again, which step do you want me to try again? Because if I go into edit mode and I move this, we get nothing. Maybe I want to apply a shape key parenting. That's how I got there in the uh, first place. Uh, parenting, armature, automatic weights. No? Oh, Blender, why are you like this? Okay, so we got parenting. Bone. Well, before we begin that, let me go ahead and jump straight into shape keys. Let's make a shape key real quick. I'm gonna call this default. Actually, no, we're gonna go full left align to right align. So here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go full left align to right align. Cause he's just gonna be a curvy little boy going through the water. I don't need to think too, too much about it. If I take this, Pose. What the heck? Hmm. Always something. It's always something with these guys. Um, control P. Set parent to object. What a shame. Okay, in the meantime, I'm just gonna go ahead and note up the um, eel. We're gonna go ahead and ignore the armature for just a moment, just like that. And let's go ahead and do this eel. So when I think of the eel, I think of stripes like a snake. So I'm gonna make him a little bit of a snake. So this guy, he's gonna be like that. We're gonna go ahead and pop on a little bit of a wave texture. Uh, we can go straight in just to begin with, but I'm gonna have to do that in just a second. Roughness is down, detail is up to seven. Distortion goes up a little bit. Detail goes up even higher. Detail scale goes up a little bit. Hmm. Oh, I need to fix that Streamlabs notification, by the way. Uh, for anybody who uh, wasn't here earlier, um, we have a new system for uh, doing speed sketches. It is the voting channel in the Discord. So if anybody has an idea for a speed sketch, um, please post it in voting. And if you would not mind um, putting emojis, like reactions, onto um, the uh, things that people have already given, we'll uh, decide from there. We'll decide what we're doing from there. 
That should be a better way of doing it, in my opinion, than what we were doing previously. It should scale a little bit, but it's going to take a little bit of doing on our part. So uh, hopefully it works out. Snake thingy. I mean, this this is a big old snaky boy, ain't it? There we go. CQDK, how's your writing going, by the way? Have you um have you been writing? I know you got into it for a short burst of time. All right, now I gotta think about color. What sort of color do I want for this guy? I really think black is a good color. I think that's gonna like really show off what we're doing here. I also think like this bright, bright yellowy Like to me, that is pretty intimidating. Uh, going terrible, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. I mean, that's fine. You're just learning. Always just takes a little bit of practice. You just gotta, you know, do what you do. Let's do orange. Orange is gonna be a little bit closer to the yellow than red. And I'd prefer if we keep it a little bit more on a topic. Like that. Yeah, this is something you definitely don't want to see swimming in the water with you, I would argue. Um, I might go ahead and make it a little bit less vibrant. So let's go 0.7. Grab the orange, we're going to go 0.7. We're going to grab the yellow, and we're going to go 0.7. And usually, actually that can go a little bit higher, 0.8. And usually there's no such thing as true black in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and say 0 0.02, 0 0.06. Are you keeping like an archive or how are you doing it? How are you getting your writing done? I'm going to give him a little bit of a metallic-y look so that he reflects light better. Also, I should abide by the rule of um, ocean creatures. I should really abide by the rule of ocean creatures, which is you have to give them a different color on their belly than on their top um, because the way it works is animals on their belly are meant to look... Actually, I don't want to do this. Um, they're meant to look like the surface of the water from underneath. So we're going to do that. And we're going to add lightness to this guy using a gradient. Also, I could probably put on texture coordinates and get going there. That looks absolutely terrible. Let's scale that down to one. Scale it down to like 0.5. There we go. And now we grab you and we plug you into value. And I'm assuming that that just, yeah, that just did that. Uh, I'm thinking a lot and then I write. I mean, that's good. That's what you should do. There's nothing wrong with that. Especially since you don't have like a job for it or whatever. Like you're not, there's no pressure. You got nothing to worry about. You just do it in your own time. Okay, so we're gonna want this to be really, really small. Like 0.1, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and lower this. That's the wrong one. I don't really understand why it works this way. It's like I rotate it on the Y, the Z determines the length and the X determines where it sits. You kind of think that they would all be related to one another? I'm not sure. That stuff weirds me out. Basically, all this bottom fin is now that color. That's good. And uh, he probably has a little bit of a rotation sideways because he doesn't want anything biting the back of him. He wants to keep everything to the front of him. So I'm going to rotate it on its X just a little bit somehow. Right there. Perfect. 
Oh, perfect. That's him. Okay, so we want this. Oh. Yes. Oh, look at that. Yo, this is it. Okay, let's go ahead and lower that um, a little bit less. Like that right there. And then we're going to add some lightness to it. So the lightness, I'm going to have to do um, a color ramp. I don't want to, but I have to. Uh, it's getting late, so you got to go to sleep. All right. You take it easy. CQDK, I'll see you when I see you. Um, I just realized in this very moment that I forgot to post my schedule on Discord. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, I will make sure to do that uh, as soon as stream ends. I completely forgot. Let's see here. We want that to be... What? Oh, that's factor. I want value. I understand. Okay, we're back. So we want white to come up quite a bit. Why is it not... Why is value not going higher? Desaturation? What is happening? I'm not I'm not getting what's happening right now. There we go. Okay, that's better. Sure. This will be the way that he looks. So that's our eel made. We're going to give him some sheen because they have sheen and he's going to be pretty low on the roughness. He's a little slimy boy. There's more I want to do with the mouth, but we're going to run out of time. So I need to chill out a little bit. I need to just accept it as it is. And uh, we'll get going on this. Put on some clear coat, and he's good. Okay, eyes time. So let's give him... Man, when I think of an eel's eye... Let's go crazy. Let's just do it, right? If I go straight in... Go straight in with a texture coordinate. Throw in a gradient with quadratic sphere. And we just look what that looks like. Doesn't look like much of anything. So we're going to have to put a color ramp on here. <laughs> That's fine. What do you want? What do you want to share with us? Give us give us anything. Put, put something out into the universe. What do you want to talk about? Um, I'm going to have to put a mapping node into here to uh, really get this looking a little bit cleaner. So we're going to do like a point 0.1 maybe? Yeah, that's the one. Let's just keep the point 0.1, honestly. And if I scale it out... What? Nope, I'm not talking about that. That one, that one's a, a no-go. You get, you get vetoed. Here we go, found it. We found the limit. It's right... Oh, that's weird. That actually looks so cool. It's like a bug eye. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're gonna do the bug eye. Why not? It's my eel. I can do whatever I want with him. That's what his eye looks like. He's got a weird compound eye. So I'm going to give him... Oh, that is crazy looking. So really, all I want to do is just give him red. And then make it metallic. Give it no specular. 
give the roughness to like 0.1. Maybe that's a little too much like that. And then we're gonna make it really transmissive. Maybe make a little bit more on the black, dominate the black just a little bit higher. In fact, I could just go constant, honestly. Oh, that does look cool though. So we're going like, we're splitting hairs here. We're doing like 0.47. We're like splitting a lot of hairs. Okay, so it's right there, 0 0.445. 0.443, 0 0.442, what the heck? 0.4425, why is it so close? Get rid of that. What? What the heck? Okay, so point, I'm losing it. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Freaking out. Point four nine six. Point four nine six. Point four nine five. What the heck, how do you fix this? Why is this the craziest thing in the world? Sure, we'll do it just like that. I'm keeping that. That's it. Done. Eyeball done. He looks nuts. I have no clear, uh, like, I have no clue why it's doing this. This is a little bit beyond me, but I like it. I'll keep it. She stays. Yeah, and we're gonna have to keep it just like that. Okay, perfect. Done. Um, and now I ask myself, do I want the eye to be red? I think I want it to be yellow. You should do a manta ray. Honestly, I wanted to make a manta ray. I was thinking about a manta ray. Why don't you uh, suggest a manta ray? Yeah, on the voting channel in uh, Discord, suggest a manta ray. So uh, Sniper, since you're new here, um, at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time in 15 minutes from now, I'm going to do whatever you all suggest for 30 minutes. I'm gonna do my absolute best to make it look good in 30 minutes. Oh, it didn't even work. This didn't even work. Mm. This is such a struggle. You know what? I think we might have we might have killed our time a little bit. That's okay. Not everything can be a race. I can't I can't be going 100 miles per hour every second of every day. I would lose my mind, and I've already lost my mind. So there's really no hope. Um, so instead, I'm gonna throw on a Vernoy texture, and we're gonna do a little bit more of a typical sketch. So I'm gonna pop on over object coordinates to vector. We're gonna remove the randomness down to just about nothing. Go over to Manhattan. And we're gonna scale this bad boy down and double check that we get something we like. I don't know if you can hear um, the giant construction vehicle outside my window, but um, they're just doing what they do. Hmm. <laughs> kind of want to make it a little bit more prominent looking like that. Hmm, hard to do. Okay, well, we're going to stick with just little simple stuff. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I was looking for. So now we just need to check the exponent until we get the one that we like. Right about there. Hmm. Okay, so we got a manta ray for um, our speed sketch, which uh, colored me a big fan of that one. I love me some manta rays. 
So, so far we have Manta Ray with Bone and Pain, which, what? Uh, feel free to vote on your favorites. There's only three so far, so um, we're going to do all of them. But if there's a fourth one, we're going to vote on our favorite three. I need to find a way to uh, advertise that a little bit better on the Discord so I don't have to explain it every time, but this has all been a learning process. You're the one setting the silly one-word limit? How's that silly? The one-word limit is the only thing keeping me sane at this point. If I leave it to you guys, you guys will suggest, like, a black hole eating a bagel for brunch. Right? You guys will come up with the craziest stuff I've ever heard of. You know, the more I look at these eyes, the more I'm like, that's fine. That's just how it is. We're done. So that's got to be him. Um, I'm going to have to sit and look how to fix the uh, the armature, but we're good. Do that. I like that one. Nope. <laughs> nope, not happening. I had a feeling you guys would like it, though. It's definitely uh, definitely the weirdest thing I could come up with off the top of my head. Yeah, distance it is, and we're set. So that's a manta ray. Okay, so uh, I got about 10 minutes. Um, what else should I do on this guy? I'm gonna give him a little polka dot. Let's give him some polka dots. We're gonna go ahead and pop on a, oh no, I should give him like little crusty bits. Yeah, okay, I got it. I know what I'm doing. This is it. We're gonna do this as fast as we can. Mix RGB. I'm gonna pop in little crusty guys. Let's see here. Probably wanna use like a noise texture with really low scale. Off the top of my head, I think that's what I want. And we're gonna make these like more neutrally colors. Hold on, let's, let's get the scale correct first. Scale is huge. Come on. Oh, and I see I've, I've messed it up. I need to put in a color ramp. Uh, color ramp right here. Plug you down there. Plug you down there. Um, I'm gonna use like a really bright color just to see what I'm doing. Cause I'm having trouble seeing it, honestly. Yep, we're gonna need to plug in our texture coordinate into here. There we go, perfect. So ultimately we just want a lot less of this. Little tiny polka dots everywhere. What is this? That's a mapping node that goes to the gradient. Yeah, we don't wanna worry about that. We want this. We're gonna want detail to be low, yes. Distortion, not that high. Actually, zero distortion. Let's do 0.5 distortion. Scale can be a little bit bigger. And now we're gonna lower the amount of this a lot. Just little bits of polka dotty, right? And now we're gonna choose a color for them. Um, so all I need to do is add a bump as per the norm. You know the, the routine. Put a bump, put it in. We got little bits all over him. Kinda think I should add detail now that we're looking at bits that look a little bit more like that. It just looks a little bit weird now that I'm seeing it. That'll do. That'll be just fine. You're never going to get that close to him anyway. And if you get that close to him, you know, good on you. You can have it. It's all yours. So these little bits, we're going to give him little bits. And these little bits, I kind of think white. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking white sounds cool. Uh, it looks bad. There's no true whites. There's no true blacks. Um, so that leaves us with 
probably a yellow. Hmm. Struggling on this one. Struggling a lot on this one. Instead, what if I actually just divided? Yeah. Okay, so instead of divide, let's multiply, because I want it dark. And now they overcoat just a little bit on there, and they make it look a little bit more organic. If I rough it up, the eyes are yellow. It distracts from the eyes. Yeah, I agree with that. Couldn't agree more. You've said it. You've said it perfectly. We're gonna up that detail just a little bit more, and we're gonna go a little bit more on the black. That's too much. We've gone a little too far on that one. I think we might have gone a little too far on that one as well. Yeah, here we go. Come back just a little bit. Four looks absolutely perfect. Four is it. We're here. We've done it. Part of me thinks let's just go constant. And I'll just choose the amount that I like. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That looks pretty good. I think that's the one right there. If I was feeling extra crazy, I would remove um, them near the face, but I think that might be overkill for no reason. He's pretty good looking. This is a good looking little guy. Uh, I There's a lot that I want to do to him. Um, he's a little too cut and dry, a little too fake looking, but I just don't have time to think about it. So uh, I'm going to be working on this guy a little bit in my free time. Um, and the eyes, I really don't like the eyes. But uh, I love the pattern, and I think he's cool. I just got to get the armature working, get him animated, and we'll be uh, we'll be in business. We'll be looking pretty good on this guy. Uh, so I'm probably gonna call it right there. Let's go. Let's go a little bit lower on that scale. Yeah, I'm gonna call it right here. So that is the end of the first part of the stream. Um, I'll end it right there.